Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering one of week 2's practice problems, which is no vowels. Alright, so how does this program work? In this program, we are supposed to run this program by using dot slash no vowels and then give a word after it. And the vowels in the word are going to be converted into digits. Alright, A becomes 6, E becomes 3, I becomes 1 and O becomes 0. So now I'm going to walk through with you guys on how to solve this problem. And now we have the novowels.c file. And here on the article, we have a step-by-step -step solution on how to solve this problem, sort of like a pseudocode. And I'll be using this from here on. So first step, we are supposed to make our program only accept a single command line argument. And that is going to be the word that we would like to convert. And our program should print an error if the user enters more or less than um, a single command line argument and we want to return a 1 which tends to signify an error immediately. Alright, so how are we going to do that? Um, int argc is going to represent the number of arguments that we have entered to the main program and so we can make use of that to check uh, the inputs into um, this program. Alright, so we can check if argc is not equals to 2 then we want to tell the user that this is how you're supposed to use this program usage dot slash no vowels and the word that you like to convert so why are we using the number two because this is technically one argument and this is the other so this program wants us to only accept one extra argument which we are gonna convert all right so that's why we are checking for two so if, if it's anything else, then we would like to print this and return and exit our program. So return one is going to return an error code one as well as just exit the whole program. All right. So now we are done with this section of telling the user that their input is wrong. Next, our program has to contain a function called replace, which takes a string input and returns a string output. This function is the one which is going to convert our vowels to numbers and the input parameter to our replace function is going to be argv1 which is going to be the word entered by the user as a command line argument all right so let's do that the replace function is going to be returning a string so we have string here replace and it's going to take in a string as input string input string i'll be calling this variable input string and then uh, semicolon to tell the compiler that we are done with our function declaration. So how are we going to solve this problem? As you guys know, a string is technically just an array of characters. So what we can do is actually loop through the entire string and index into all of those characters and check if these characters are the letter A, E, I, or O. And if they are A, E, I, or O, then we can um, change them. To 6, 3, 1, and 0. So perhaps you guys might be thinking we can use a if condition. So if our character is A, if our character is E, if our character is I, if our character is O. But there's actually a prettier way of doing it, which is using the switch statement. Alright, as I'm going along into this video, you guys will learn more about how the switch statement works and every single one of um, the special words that they use here but before i go into typing the code maybe i should give you guys a rough overview of how um, switch statements work so just like if else switch is uh, switch is the beginning of a if else so switch and then the variable we would like to check and here a uh, case is technically just like an if so if the variable is negative one then we would like to do this and break off of the if condition if this is not the case if the case is one then we we'll like to print this if it's none of the above then we'll be running this default uh, condition all right so um yeah we'll be using switch cases as they recommend it here because it's much more pretty looking uh, rather than using if else you guys can probably use if else as well but it's gonna be looking pretty ugly and messy all right so let me just show you how we can use a switch condition. But before that, obviously, we have to index into every single one of the characters in the string. How are we going to do that? Using a for loop. So for int i equals to 0. 
i less than string i plus plus i less than the length of the string and i plus plus so how to find the length of the string you guys can look into the manual and also david mellon went through this during the lecture so we can simply use strlen string length function from the string.h library and this calculates the length of the string all right so let's include that into our headers and so int length equals to string length input string all right so in this for loop we are going to index into every single one of the characters and we can simply do that by um, input string and i all right because since this is a string and we can index into every single one of the characters zero gonna represent the first character of the string and uh, one is going to represent the second character of the string and all the way up to the last character of the string all right so now we want to use our modified if else condition for this situation switch statements are actually for very specific scenarios and especially for this scenario it works very well so let me show you um, the implementation of this switch statement so switch and then the variable we would like to check is going to be input string i so the character and then now we would like to check the case of the character so let's say the case is an a then what we would like to do is change the input string character into a six so input string i we would like to change it to six as per our requirements and then we have to break it okay so why do we have to break it we have to break it because if we don't have this break statement after executing this it will just go on and execute the rest as well if we don't have break so now that we have break you will run this and then break out of the switch statement okay so now we have to check um, for e and if we stumble upon the character e what we're going to do is change it to and change it to a 3 close to 3 break case i is going to be input string i equals to 1 break case um, o is going to be input string i equals to zero and break and for the default condition we don't want uh, the string to be adjusted or anything so we don't actually need default in this situation all right so one more thing that i would like to mention right now the code actually has a bug and it's a logical bug so basically as you guys know this is a character and characters work very special in C such that each decimal that we assign to a character is gonna be a, an ASCII character. So as David Mellon showed in the first and second weeks, number 72, 73 and 33 is gonna be HI exclamation mark. And also he mentioned that zero is null. So actually, if we are implementing 6, 3, 1, and 0, it's going to be acknowledge, etx, soh, and null. So what we want to do is change this into actual digit ASCII values. So for that, we have to see what is the ASCII value for 6, 3, 1, and 0. So the ASCII value for 6 is going to be 54. ASCII value for 3 is going to be 51. SK value for 1 is going to be 49. SK value for 0 is going to be 48. All right. So now let's type in the SK values for this digits. 54, 51, 49, 48. Okay. Uh, that's about it actually. So once again, this is a for loop looping through and indexing into every single one of the characters in a string. And then if the character fulfills any of these cases in this switch statement then we'll be changing the character into um, the ascii values of six and here we have the ascii value of three and here we have the ascii value of one 
and here we have the SQ value of zero. All right, so let's uh, try running the code with an example that they used. So let me try to make vowels first. I'm sure we have some syntax errors. Yep. Okay, so. All right, so actually um, we have done the function, but we haven't called it in the main uh, function as a function yet. So in the main function, we would like to print the converted word followed by the black backslash n. And so after fulfilling this for loop, the string would be as we desired. So now we can return uh, the input string. And here, what we can do is just print f percent s, which is going to represent string and then replace arg v1. All right. So here we are calling the function and then the output of the function is going to be replaced into the percent s and it's going to be print f and we can just add a backslash n here as they mentioned so yeah now it should be good make no vowels errors okay so semicolon semicolon make no vowels oh my gosh semicolons again make no vowels all right so finally um dot slash no vowels we're supposed to get this usage um, no vowels and word and even for this, let me just add a backslash n. Let me try again. No vowels and there we go. So it's going to be usage dot slash no vowels words. And let's try um, no vowels pseudocode and see if we have the correct result. And seems like we did get the correct result. And let me just give it a quick check 50 just to confirm that this code is correct. All right. So it seems that all the checks passed and we are good to go. So if you guys enjoyed and benefited from this video, do hit the like button and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll try my best to help and support you guys. And yeah, have a nice day. Bye-bye.